the professional world of today, um, I think, is a little bit um, faster and, and uh, maybe a little less uh, thoughtful. Um, and and of his day, maybe it was a little bit slower, but there was more thought put into things. Um, and I think, but at the same time, you know, it's cool that the, the, this movie kind of takes into, uh, you know, notices that technology has changed, and so every business has changed in that way. Um, and he has to adjust to that. But at the same time, he teaches them to be um, more thoughtful. I think in a business way, but I feel like the main part of the movie is he's teaching them all to be better people. I mean, he kind of becomes a father figure to all of them. Robert De Niro, the great Robert De Niro, who's everybody's hero, obviously, um, plays Ben. And uh, when I was 12 years old, I snuck uh, the DVD of Taxi Driver um, to my friend's house, and we watched it even though we weren't allowed to. And uh, he, his performance in that movie was what made me want to be an actor. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, I think he's, I mean, everybody thinks he's the best. And he's, you know, I just got to do one scene with him today, and, and uh, I'm still kind of shaky and excited from it. I think the way that it fits in with their other work is that, you know, it's very rare that you have a filmmaker that makes movies that are really just about people, you know, and, and not, and, and there are no car chases and no, uh, you know, explosions, and yet her movies are all successful and they really touch people. Um, so she is a, uh, an anomaly, a filmmaker that, that almost in the best way from a different time, you know, the, a time where that's blockbuster movies were movies like the movies that De Niro was making in the 70s, you know, whereas nowadays it's uh, uh, less and less movies about relationships and more and more movies about um, robots.